Hey strangers. I have been only wearing workout clothes, whether I just worked out or I'm about to work out or not even thinking about working out that day. So today I really want to wear something that's not that. Just something cute. Don't really have anywhere to go. It's Thursday today and I haven't had any self tape requests. So I need to desperately self submit. And I also need to update acting clips on my Actors Access and Casting Networks and Frontier. Just whatever casting websites I haven't updated. Also, I'm working on memorizing and because I've realized something very, very obvious, which is for my auditions, being off book helps me so much. And of course it can be different for everybody, but I need to be so good at memorizing that I can spend 10% of the time I have on memorizing and then the other other 90 filming and making that audition really good because right now I spend a big chunk of time memorizing like it's almost like second thought oh now I have to film it because I take maybe 20 minutes to record my self tape where I take like two hours to memorize um, I mean depending on the script uh, but so I want to get really good at that I'm already regretting wanting to get into real clothes because I just want to be comfortable Do I feel crazy, but at the same time, I want to wear this? <laughs> I like want to wear different jeans, something else. I wore this shirt without the bottom and it just didn't seem right. It was like too much. What am I doing? What is this? What is this? So I ended up wearing that outfit yesterday like the entire day up until dinner and then I decided to get more comfy. That outfit was a lot more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be, but <laughs> I just bought new workout gear. So um, I wanna wear this tonight and it has good pockets. So I still wanna look cute. Should I wear these or should I wear these? I already own these but I wanted another pair. Uh-oh, I got the wrong ones. These are so short. I thought these were the longer ones. How did I end up in like an outfit that I always wear? Okay, whatever. It's not, it's not gonna happen today. Maybe I'll change again later, but we have a voiceover audition today. My agent sent me a voiceover audition request last night. So since I'm already in the closet, I might as well film it or record my audition and send it over. It's not due till Monday, but I don't have much to do today. I don't have my office job today. I'm just working on acting stuff, have a book to read. So come on. I should also go get coffee because I just want to get out of the apartment. Haven't really been going anywhere lately. So maybe I'll take my book that I'm reading to a park and read it and then work on my memorizing also at the park to get out of this house. The voiceover edition is pretty short, so um, I need I need to use this. Do you mind if I just turn off the camera really quick so I can record my audition? Is that okay? Okay. As I was sending my voiceover audition, I got another audition request from my agency for Nancy Hayes in San Francisco. And it is a commercial audition where I just have to answer some questions, do my slate, and then tell them about a hobby that I have. And I haven't been skating in a while. So what I'm thinking, I'm gonna go skate. By a while, I just mean because I was not here for Christmas time. Wait, or maybe not because it's for a mom role and I don't know that like roller skating is so mom-ish. It might make me feel too young. I don't think I'm gonna do that because it would make me feel too young. What should I do? I almost never do this, but I just emailed my agent, my on-camera agent to see what she thought. I told her, do you think it would read too young if I shared that I roller skate as my hobby or I can talk about my mini plants that I paint because I have some you can hardly see them right there this is one of my hobbies especially for people who I know are plant people in my lives that I love I like to paint them little house plants and um, I often give these away for birthdays and Christmas I could also talk about this my other idea since I have time and they just sent this out I saw the email uh, like maybe five minutes after they send it out my other thought is I can film both, talking about both hobbies, and then my agent can decide which one they want to send. I don't know if that's something that they like to do, but I mean, it's options, right? They can send both if they want to, or 
they can just choose the one that they like best. After I'm done with this audition, I'm gonna treat myself to some coffee because one, I deserve it. And two, I feel like if I get trapped into my computer and start editing and just really get like into it, I'm not gonna leave the house today. And it's Friday. Today's Friday. I need to, I need to get out of the house. I need to treat myself to some coffee. Decaf. Let's grab some props for this audition. This is a commercial audition for what seems like a outdoorsy, sporty company. So that's the reason why I am wearing this and I can keep this on. I need to set up my full body shot and my slate. I'm gonna go ahead and do my full body shot first because last time I did this, I was having a problem doing it. Let's look at the instructions again. In these instructions, just so you guys know, if you shoot vertically, we won't submit your video. So shoot horizontally when you're filming an audition. Okay, so here's my idea. I'm gonna talk about my hobby of painting these little plants. I have some real plants right here, so I can say I like to turn, you know, my house plants into paintings or my friends' house plants into paintings. I think I'm gonna intro my skating here. I'll be like, ask for my hobby and then I'll do it outside. I just think it's fun, right? They're watching a bunch of auditions. Might as well one of them be really fun outside, not just with a backdrop. So that's what we're gonna do. I need to, I need to get it together. God. I keep thinking about my anniversary with my, <laughs> with my boyfriend and, um, I keep getting so emotional because I'm so happy. <laughs> but I don't, this this is a happy commercial. I can't be crying. I mean, happy crying is good, but I don't, I don't know that that's what they're looking for. Jesus Christ, come on, let's get a take. I've had like 10 takes probably. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to upload and then we can go get coffee. They sent me this audition request at 12.56 p.m. and it is 2.03 p.m. Took me an hour, high five. I don't think I updated you on what my agent said. My agent said that sharing the roller skating one was fine, but I could choose whatever I wanted to share. So I did both. Time to get coffee and go read at a park. So the book I'm reading is I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erika L. Sanchez and this book is hilarious. It has me cracking up. Um, so it's it's like a pretty sad story but it's written really funny and right now I feel like I'm going to tell you guys some of these quotes because like throughout me reading this which hopefully I'll finish it soon. I'm only on the third chapter and the mom has asked the daughter to help her make the flour tortillas and the, the daughter is like I don't know how to make these can you help me uh, like teach me how to do these and she's like you'll figure it out it's common sense <laughs> it's common sense to know when the tortillas the flour tortillas are done i read an entire chapter enjoying the outdoors um and that quote was so funny to me that knowing when a tortilla is ready is common sense because that's such a mexican mom thing to say and then in that same chapter there was a line about um what kind of woman are you going to be if you can't even make a tortilla <laughs> uh, that was good i'm glad i came outside and enjoyed some coffee and did some reading hey 
So I just got another email for another voiceover audition. So I'm going to record that right now, but it's Friday night. I should be doing something fun. Maybe I'll come up with something fun to do tonight. Who knows, but I, I need to relax for a little bit. Thank you so much for watching my vlogs. Like you probably don't even know me in real life. And if you do, you're probably related to me, but thank you. If you're related to me, hi, I love you. If not, hey, thanks for watching. Oh, I'm driving. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my video, make sure that you're subscribed.